They're saying nice things about you, Steph. I feel like we're taking you for granted with all those great saves. Talk about some of those today. They were phenomenal, huh? Um, I feel like the, the goal wasn't big enough for LA today. You know, they were hitting most of them at me, but sometimes from close range, it's it's difficult to hold your ground. You, you, you know, you, you almost end up moving out of the way. So I was happy that I was able to stay balanced, hold my ground, and take the shots and and react. So yeah, unfortunate that we weren't able to to get three points, but. Uh, Difficult game against a good opponent. Obviously, that's why they're in a position they're in, and uh, you know some things to to build on, some things to maybe look at and get better with. But a uh, uh, good fight today. To your point, is this one of those games that right now it kind of stings, and then you know a couple practice sessions, you can look like you can improve and get ready for a tough game next week? Yeah, exactly. I mean, uh, they have good quality. Like I said, they're 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 in a position where they are because they are a good team, and so. That made it a difficult, difficult opponent and a difficult game today. But um, I thought we carved out a decent amount of chances. To be fair, very, very more, you know the, the the goal that we end up scoring, uh, probably them too. The goal, the goal that they end, they end up scoring is it's a chance that you would least expect them to score. And for us, we, we kind of get get one gifted. Other than that, I thought we we had a couple of really, really good looks out of some really nice combos. And, and those are the things we'll look at and tape and say well, that's what we did well. Um, and like I said, there's a couple of things we'll probably look at and say that's, that this, this is something we have to do better because the next opponent is a, is a tough one too. You know, they, Kansas uh, been, been struggling, but historically speaking, uh, for some weird reason, P Peter Vermees always gets him up against me. I think uh, against us. I think he hates us. <laughs> so it'll be a, it'll be it'll be a tough game. A couple of young guys, are, you know. The international guys came back, and Thanks how did they fit in? And then you had two young guys, obviously, they played pretty well. And I, I'm talking about it again, and obviously Vargas. Even though they've, they've had plenty of game time, but they still. Have yeah, I mean, I think I think they have had plenty of game time because they deserve it. Um, they 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 they're fitting into this team and a team that has high high quality, and so that that says a lot about their quality. I think they're not just um, players that are coming in because we. We need to rotate or whatnot, but they're they're finding themselves in in situations where they're they're um, they're getting starts and they're 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 active and and consistent contributors to the squad because they they they, they show that they deserve it, um, and I'm happy about that. It's it's good to have a good diversity in the group, you know, in terms of age and experience and, and hunger and and uh, sometimes with the young guys. Uh, being a bit ob oblivious uh, as to, to to what's going on in, in the world and what what it means when you get in situations that maybe. Um, are, are, are nice ones like you know winning a final. I think young guys tend to not understand the, the gravity of the situation. So it's really important to, to have a good mix of, of, of veterans and young guys. How do you feel like your back line played today? Uh, I think we did okay. Um, you know, um, I mean they, they have to have some good players, uh, quite high quality. With, uh, Chicho and uh, obviously Vela coming off the bench. Good, good service for those guys as well. And, uh, um, I thought we actually did quite well in terms of playing out of the back for the most part. You know, this is a high pressing team that tries to suffocate you and, and, and have you turn over the ball and then uh, capitalize on those mistakes. And, uh, and in fact, we, we were able to do, to do that to them. You know, I think we did, we did quite well. Not only you know, a couple of turnovers here and there, but nothing that, that ended up getting, uh, getting too crazy. Um, and on the other end, we were able to, to kind of um, suffocate them and, and have them turn over the ball and, and capital, uh, capitalize on that. So happy to see that. Yeah, in the first half, after you made that save, you were kind of down for a little bit. Were you, like, what happened on that play, <laughs> I guess? I mean, it's one of those, there's just, it's so close, and I think he just tries to hit it as hard as he can, yeah. and I'm trying to hold your ground. And I think the fact that he hit it was still rising, and it caught me just just right on the, lo the lowest rib and, and right underneath. And so there's not much protection for your lungs there. and. Just knocked the wind out of me. I was, I was gasping, trying to trying to find some air. Thankfully, I found it about 20 seconds later. So. <laughs> in the immediate aftermath of that game, is there anything in particular you feel the you and the defense could have done better as you look towards Kansas City next week? Um, I, I think once we got tired in the second half, we I don't want to say we were we started hiding, but we just weren't as confident in in in, in playing out of the back. Um, you know, obviously it's, it's, it's natural. You know, when you when you're starting to get get tired and gassed a little bit. Um, you know, to 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 wiggle out of, of, of a tight spot is, is becomes harder, and, and so maybe you're shy away from from actually getting the ball. And, and those are those are tiny little um, nuances that I, I think players pick up on. For me, I mean, that's something I have to pick up on. And when I see someone opening up, it's the, the question is always: Are they opening up because they've, they've been told to open up, or because they truly want the ball? Right. And with that being said, um, it's really nice when you're able to to bring in some other guys. Some, some 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 uh, some fresh legs, 
um, and and confident legs with uh, you know someone like um, um, Kellen on, on on the left side again. You know I think he he, he kind of uh, embodied that for me. Uh, someone who came on right away is like give me the ball. I want the ball. Give me the ball. And so uh, just something to be working on a little bit more. That you know I think we we did really well in the first half. And let's let, let's have that builder confidence that we keep going with it.